Hey everyone, um, a lot of good emulators have come out uh, recently for the um, GCW Zero, and I really wanted to uh, showcase some of them, and I wanted to give the authors, you know, proper credit. So the first one I'm going to show is the Wonder uh, Wonderswan emulator. It's Oswan, and it was ported by Game Blah Blah, and right now it's currently my favorite emulator on the GCW Zero. Um, he really made sure every detail was taken care of. If you ever uh, take a look at a picture of a Wonder Swan, you'll notice that it has a lot of D-pads and a lot of buttons. Well, he was able to map everything correctly and take input from others that actually have a Wonder Swan and get it running pretty much perfect. So I'm going to show you Judgment Silver Sword, which is my favorite game right now. I'm probably not going to play it very well, but I will show you anyways. This is another cool feature, of course. It automatically rotates. This is a great shoot 'em up, and if I could ever find a real Wonder Swan and this game, I think I'd be purchasing it. Basically, the type of game it is is it's just basically a shooter, but it's timed, so you can go for high scores and um, uh, speed runs. Um, but it does get pretty hard after a while. I can only get to about level 15, but it is lots of fun. And if you might notice, I don't know, it might be too dark. I'm using the analog controller on the GCW and it is running great. I'm able to get in between um, you know missiles and bullets. I'm playing a bullet hell with the analog without any problems. So I'm going to show you a couple more here. A couple more levels and then I'll switch over to some other emulators. I love this game. Okay, time to go to a new one. I'll show you one other game here. Uh, I'll show you... Um, let's see if I can find it. There it is. I'm sorry it's taking so long my favorite game and some people might not know um, before I was Qbert Addict I was Mr. Driller Addict but uh, I got hacked so I had to switch <laughs> as you can see everything is running perfectly no sound glitches and like I said, this is just a very, very good port of an already good emulator. Okay, the next emulator I want to show is uh, Stella 3.93, and it's done by David Knight. Um, it's really smooth, it's really great, uh, a lot of options, supports the analog for the paddle controllers, um, and you can adjust the sensitivity so it works well for you. Um, I'm going to show a couple games. Um, I'm sure everybody wants to know if Pitfall 2 runs well. So I will show you guys Pitfall 2 running. Now I'm warning you, I suck at this game as it is. As you can hear, um, hopefully, the sound is not distorted. <laughs> um, and it's running at a solid 60 frames per second. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you another game, one of my favorites. It's called Spider Fighter, and then I'll switch to the other emulator that came out.
Oops. Uh, one thing I want to point out, there's no lags in the controls. Uh, there was in the previous uh, version of Stello, at least I felt there was. And um, also with the um, port that was done by Alec Mall. So, I'm going to switch to another emulator here. This emulator is my favorite. Um, well, besides OS1. This is my favorite system, not my favorite emulator. So... Here we go, uh, game blah blah. Um, actually ported over a developmental build of Mednafin, and it supports PC Engine, uh, PCFX, uh, PlayStation. But PCFX and PlayStation are too slow to run, so don't you know? Don't harp on it if you expect you know. Don't expect to play those games. Um, the Nintendo Core is okay. The Game Boy Core, uh, core is okay. The Game Boy Advance Core is um, too slow as well. So, I'm going to show you guys some PC Engine stuff. Um, you know what? Um, some people were having problems getting CDs to work. So, I will go ahead and load a CD here. Uh, one of the um, issues that I currently see is um, some distortion in the CD games from time to time. Uh, I'm sure that can be worked out, um, but currently does not because it's a developmental build. Okay, so you guys don't have to see uh, this long intro. I'll put a game on and you can actually play. So... Uh, what's really cool about this over temper is that um, the scrolling is really smooth and the aspect ratio seems to be good and um, doesn't seem to be any screen tearing. If you ask me, this is the most underrated system during its time. It's a shooter, a shoot 'em up lover's dream. So anyways, um, I don't want this video to be like 900 uh, minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to some super graphics. Um, you guys will notice some uh, distortion on the sound, um, but like I said, it's a developmental build. See, there's the sound distortion. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it maybe built buffer problems or what, but I'm sure it'll be figured out. Okay, and um, I wanted to show you guys the um, Game Boy uh, color core here because because um, it actually runs Shantae really well. And that was one thing that Gambit did that Oh Boy didn't. So, I'm gonna show you guys. There it is. Hopefully, um, there will be an option to uh, scale full screen or at least 3x or 1.5x. I'll get into the beginning of the game because 
that's where the missing graphics and glitches are. Here's a little intro, let's try to get out of there quick. As you can see, it runs great and it looks beautiful. Uh, I will say one thing, I love the screen on the GCW Zero. And I actually love the device. And I'm not just trying to be, and, and I'm not being biased, it really is a great device. Okay. Now for one that I had a request for that I really liked and David Knight worked on it with me. It's Daphne, which is Dragon's Lair, Space Ace, all the great uh, laser disc games from back in the day. Okay, here's Dragon's Lair. And um, there is a great tutorial on how to resize all these movies. Uh, for the GCW Zero, he was nice enough to, uh, David Knight was nice enough to do that for us. And there you have it. As you can see, it's beautiful the way it runs. Um, I'm going to do a whole video of Cliffhanger, and I'm going to show it from start to end, um, playing on the GCW Zero. I think that would be a pretty cool, uh, uh, pretty cool video. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show off those three emulators, or basically four. Oh, I am sorry. I forgot one other thing. Atari Lynx is also supported. So let me go ahead and get to that for you and show you and of course I'm going to pick the best game at least in my opinion Stun Runner once again you need some uh, scaling as you can see hopefully you guys can see that And uh, there you have it. So uh, if you guys got your GCW Zeros, um, pick them up on ThinkGeek or wherever. I'm glad you got them. So go try out these emulators.